Today we're going to talk about our journey to find the pre-algebra curriculum that was right for us for this year. It, this is my daughter's seventh grade year. So a little bit of background is she worked with the Abaca up through third grade. In fourth grade, we switched to Singapore Dimensions. She um, completed Singapore Dimensions in fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. It was absolutely wonderful. We loved Singapore Dimensions. It was something that I had just planned on continuing for as long as possible and then when I received the seventh grade dimensions uh, I it was a screeching halt and I knew that that was not what we needed I do have a flip through which I will include down below and also a little bit more information a video talking about why we decided not to use dimensions in seventh grade and I will link that down below again the next step was what math are we going to to use and that became a quest for me and we had decided to work with the art of problem solving and I have a flip through of this one as well which I will include and my daughter could do this we started with the art of problem solving this year my daughter completed a few chapters she was getting the correct answers she was able to do the problems but the way that the art of problem solving is set up is that you were probably going to get it wrong to begin with and then they will take you through the thought process for you to then be able to get um, to understand it and hopefully get the problems correct and she was getting these problems correct but she was not using all of the techniques that the art of problem solving included she was reverting back to the techniques that she had learned from singapore dimensions which are fine they're they work correctly but what was my concern became her math confidence when we switched from abaca to singapore dimensions we really fought on math confidence and i will link that video below but she had regained her math confidence. It was really good. She knew how to do the problems. She had confidence in her math skills and I wanted to keep that up. I wanted to continue with it. And the art of problem solving just wasn't doing that. My daughter was learning she was reverting back to a lot of what she had done in dimensions but she was learning with the art of problem solving but the day that she said i'm not very good at math was the day that i knew we had to switch away from the art of problem solving because she is just not the person who can get something wrong or not know how to do something and really have to work through it the way the art of problem solving requires and so we put it away now she was not happy with that she wanted to keep on working with the art of problem solving because they were relatively short lessons she was still getting the answers correct at the end of the day and she just didn't want to put this away but i made an executive decision and decided that we needed to put it away and so we then looked into the life of fred this is something that is so new to us but if you have any um, background with the life of Fred, it is more of a story. And so there's a lot of reading that goes along with the life of Fred. And this is not a way that she was really learning the math. She, um, the life of Fred just wasn't for her. We knew that almost instantaneously that this is not something that would really be beneficial to her, though, just the way it is set up. And so we switched to the BJU's pre-algebra. Now this is a new pre-algebra that they have just come out with for this past year. They came out with it in the summer. If you are interested in this, please make sure you are subscribed because I will be coming out with a flip through very shortly for this. Now BJU is so different than any of these. It's different than the art of problem solving. It's definitely different than Life of Fred, and it is extremely different than Dimensions. But what it does is it gives a lot of problems. There are a lot 
of problems. I'm very thankful the way it's set up because it doesn't expect the student to do all of the problems that it is given. But there are plenty of problems to be able to know whether my daughter understands a concept or whether she doesn't. So this is um, something that we are really enjoying right now. She does not like the number of problems per se that she has to do but it is showing where there are any um, holes, where there's something where she needs to review a concept, where there is something that she is not totally grasping, but also the way it is set up is when there is something that she already knows, it is very easy for us to keep moving on and building on that concept. So I'm very thankful for us finding BJU. It has been quite the journey to find a curriculum for Bri Algebra this year, but we have found something that we are going to use for the rest of the year and it is working very well with her. The concepts that she learned, the way that she was taught from Dimensions has helped her so much in working with BJU. So this was actually an easier transition from Dimensions to BJU than what I initially thought it was going to be. I thought that there would be um, more of an issue with that transfer in the teaching styles, in the curriculum styles, and there really isn't. Um, she is being, she is able to take those concepts and, and what she learned in how to think and how to grasp the different concepts, how to reason from dimensions and apply it with what she is learning in pre-algebra with BJU. Now there is some overlap from what she had in Dimension 6 into this pre-algebra, but I knew that that was going to happen and I'm not concerned about that because it is a great review for her. So she still wants to come back to the art of problem solving and we might, but I need to make sure that her math confidence is where it needs to be before we do that. 